This is going to be delicious. Anna's back with another taste of Mexico. This time we're making chicken tinga. And I, I've never heard of this before. It sounds so yummy. It, and it's really very simple. I've got two onions that I've diced up and started cooking and kind of gotten a little golden. Okay. And I'm going to add four cups of rotisserie chicken, which I have tried to shred as I took off the bone. Oh, that now makes you, it so easy. It makes it very easy. Yeah, Any kind of grilled chicken, just so you've got it shredded up. Now I'm going to mix a little sauce. I've got an uh, eight to nine ounce container of salsa over here, and I've got um, a can of tomato soup and chipotle peppers, two to four tablespoons. Okay. I know you like it spicy, so you could well, put don't four tablespoons. Everybody's going to share. <laughs> <laughs> but this, this is just kind of a medium sauce that I've used and we're going to stir that in. This is just one of the many recipes that Kroger is offering at all the stores nationwide to offer a fiesta flavors, a taste of Mexico, so people who don't make Mexican at home can show how easy that the recipes are. They can actually sample them, get the recipes. Nice. There's all kinds of giveaways going on, going on either on the website and at the store. And they've actually got samplings this weekend at the stores on Saturday and Sunday oh, at all the stores. Great. So that ought to be kind of fun. I looked at the website. They're giving away a trip to Mexico yes. and a diamond ring and free all groceries. Kinds of fun and, stuff. Yeah. So check out the website or look at the store. And this goes on through June 24th. And I think people realize that these are some really tasty easy recipes that you can make at home and not be scared to try and what I really liked is I tried different ingredients than when I've made Mexican food at mm -hmm. home and it, it gives a little bit more kick and flavor to them and um, so I will definitely try both of these recipes that we've done today I think we're going to have a Mexican fiesta celebration when we get through what I'm going to do I put I like to put lots of things on my tostados so I put shredded lettuce on there to okay. start with you could put avocado you can put nacho cheese sauce you can put Mexican cheese you can put sour cream or cream of fresco, whatever you want. The control uh, room is saying this would make great nachos too. It, oh yes, if definitely. You didn't want to do and you could do the same thing with ground beef that you cooked ahead of time oh, yeah. as well. But but the final um, dessert was out of this world and I knew Leland would like this because it is a chocolate sauce and I've taken puff pastry, cut it in strips, baked it and brushed it with butter and had cinnamon sugar and you dip it in the chocolate sauce oh, and boy. I have sampled all these recipes and I can attest to the fact that they are delicious. I might not be quite as big of a chocolate uh, lover as Leland is, but I do like it. <laughs> See, I've had churros before but I've never had them dipped in chocolate. Do I dare? Uh, can yeah. I still talk after I do this? <laughs> Mm. We've got these online oh, at the yeah. website of Talk of the Town, so you can go on there. You can mm. check them out at the stores or on Kroger's website. So enjoy a taste of Mexico at home with all these delicious recipes and ingredients. And all these ingredients are on specials at Kroger, so check it out. Oh, in the ads and at the stores, they've got tags that say this is a special price. So take advantage of these uh, weeks to really enjoy something flavorful with Mexican. I definitely want to try this. This is so, so good. And thanks so much. You fed us really well today. We appreciate Thank it. You. It's recipe number 5186. You'll get all three of these recipes online now in the Talk of the Town Recipes page at newschannel5.com.